Curaçao is very honored to be the host country for this prestigious conference. Today, we're welcoming you all to our beautiful island and to the innovative tech-savvy conference with digital advancements, which are new to Acryl. Estamos aquí con mucha ganas de adquirir conocimientos y llevarnos las mejores prácticas para aplicarlos en nuestros centros de información. Libraries have been the heart of communities they serve because they are accessible and safe places. And they need to continue to be that, be they physical or virtual. Many people believe that because of the digital revolution, libraries are a thing of the past. But in our modern information society, libraries provide safe place in which individuals can gather to interact, learn and explore. Patrons really want the library to be more embedded in their modern workflow, so essentially a digital application. Que la biblioteca es la organización más resiliente de nuestra sociedad. Que la biblioteca lleva años transformándose. How the pandemic is affecting the libraries. The teaching staff were advised to start seeking ways or means of teaching online, and it was quickly realized that the library had to pivot to this mode as well. So in 2020, we went completely online. We are explaining to the students how to look at the bases of data in five passes. We are starting to digitize material that has been microfilmed. So the library has to become very agile, have a lot of agility into adopting to changes. It is possible, it was done, and it was done successfully. When we talk about bibliotecas, we are talking about all the development of the human Reading enriches lives and open, opens doors. It's an absolute condition to participate in society. So impact on literacy, giving people the tools they need to be part of the information society and also public libraries can play a low role in lifelong learning. We have to be active and see the technology and the opportunities the technology provides to make it a more human-centered, human-friendly uh, society. We're facing challenges. Hope that this program will result in closer collaboration and that we will form a network between our libraries. And ultimately, I was wondering, what could the role of Acuril be? Importance is that you, if you want to continue existing as an organization, you have to reinvent yourself. And reinvent yourself means you have to innovate. You start your innovation at the end of your growth, not in your decline. If you start your innovation and you decline, you're probably too late. And I laid down and I was looking at this beautiful Caribbean sky. And it made me think about everything I'd learned, I'd shared, I had listened to during this week about trusting, trusting in yourself, but trusting also the network that we are building together. A lo largo de esta semana hemos aprendido mucho sobre las formas de hacer cambios y la resiliencia bibliotecaria. Y también hemos conocido muchas iniciativas proactivas para continuar adelantando a nuestras bibliotecas, a nuestros museos, a nuestros archivos. In the last few months, we were preparing and taking care of all the details to be able to give you the best logistics for the conference. I'm very, very thankful and grateful for the team I had during these two years. I want to thank them personally, because without them, we couldn't have made this happen. It was an honor for me to be the chair of the local organizing committee for the 51st Acro Conference here in Curacao.